If the production of textiles and clothing is bad for the environment, but we still need to produce clothes, should we be trying to create new materials that are more sustainable? And if so, what would those be? I've found an event called the Future Fabrics Expo, where designers will be exhibiting sustainable alternatives to traditional fabrics, and I'm going to see what's on offer. And I'm gonna wear this to the expo. Can you guess what it's made out of? I'm Grace and I love fashion. I'm finding out about sustainable fashion and how I can be a more responsible shopper. So I'm here at Future Fabrics Expo, ready to see some sustainable materials. I want to learn more about them and I want to talk to the guys who have created them. This is a freshwater fish from the Amazon okay. called Pirarucu. And uh, this is all treated in Rio, Rio de Janeiro, yeah. with all uh, natural products, so uh, there's no damage to the environment. It's so what's, really... what's it made out of? Fish? Fish, yeah. Fish? This is what the fish is like. Okay, big, wow! It can grow up to 250 kilos. The local community, they eat it. So uh, this, this ladder was just being thrown away. And right, just... so you don't kill the fish for the material? No, 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 no. They can only be fished to a certain uh, minimum size and uh, also to a certain number. Would you say it's a luxury product? Very luxury. It, you, it couldn't be mass produced? No, 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 no. no. We, we produce skin by skin. And Every what... skin is unique. It's quite exclusive. Exclusive and luxury yeah. and expensive. Well, one piece like this would cost around 200 euros. Mainly, we have 90% organic cotton, but we also have recycled materials like one is called Refibra, for example. And what we do is a little special because we sell this fabric from one meter onwards and we stock the fabric for the designers so they can buy one meter and they don't have to fulfill these high minimums which normally applies. What is cool against all this fast fashion trend that people start to make something on their own yeah. and that the craft is coming back. Which could be seen as more sustainable in general anyway. I think so, it is more sustainable and also you value clothes more if you know the person who produces it, I think. So a lot of people may think that sustainable products are more expensive yeah. than the materials. What would you say to that? Um, I think it's two different answers. One is that certain materials will come down in price massively just because the chemical pollution that's caused, for example, will have to be factored into the price. So cleaning up the waterways, the bill for doing that is currently borne by society, by the taxpayer. Now, that should be done by the polluter itself. Okay. So then that means that that fabric that has been produced in a non-sustainable way um, will actually integrate those costs and that makes the product actually become more expensive. Therefore, the things that do not pollute will become cheaper. But also, it's, it's, it's a typical example of it. Some of them, some, are still niche. So yes, some of them are just being innovated and you know it's not scaled up yet. So then, of course, they're a little bit more expensive. So I've looked around today and I've seen some really, really incredible uh, materials. Very exciting. Do you think that is the future? Do you think we will be able to find these in shops? Yes, of course we will. Of course we will. But we need to ask for them. What we need is to be able to say, go to the shopkeeper and say, excuse me, where is the equivalent of this t-shirt in organic cotton? Where can I find it? And if they say, sorry, we don't do it, then you might want to say, I might want to go to the shop that does, you know, and, and it's making those discerning choices. Just as you say, my God, I wouldn't be seen dead in gold sequins, you should be able to say, well, I wouldn't be seen dead in something that harms our planet and the people who make them. So it's not just, it's a trend choice, yeah. you know, it's a style choice as well. So I'm wearing a jacket today, and yeah. this is where we test your knowledge. Do you want to feel it? Do you want to can you guess what it's made out of? Um, I'm assuming, and I'm going to cheat. Okay. I'm assuming that because you're here, it's good. But is it mushroom? It's not mushroom. What is it? It's made out of pineapple leaves. Oh, pineapple, yes. So I've just come back from the expo, and it was honestly really interesting. 
The only thing is, I'm not sure whether making clothes out of animal skin is sustainable, and I'm pretty sure some people have already questioned it for its ethics. So I'm not completely sure whether a luxury product like this can become a sustainable staple. With that said, I have heard that small productions of well-crafted goods could help turn people's heads from fast fashion by giving them a product that they can cherish. But many of these products will become affordable over time, as long as we demand sustainability. It was nice to see that even Oslo was surprised by my jacket. I'm now gonna head into town to see what other people think about future materials. What material do you think this jacket's made out of? I don't actually know. It kind of looks like leather, but it's not. A foam, maybe? So, it's made out of pineapple leaves. Okay. <laughs> pineapple leaves. No way. Oh, wow. That's cool. So this jacket costs a lot more than the standard jacket. Okay. Would you be willing to buy it? No. Uh... <laughs> if I said that it was sustainable and better for the environment, would you be willing to wear it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. I feel like some people would, if like that's the type of thing that you could afford. I think someone else might if they're like, interested in high fashion, but I personally probably not. So it looks like loads of new materials are being created, and I do think some are going to have an impact, but I think some of them are also just luxuries. It looks like we may have to pay more for these future fabrics, but there is hope that price will come down as demand increases. I do think we need to be wary because if we treat new materials the same as we treat old, we might just end up in the same place. So as always, we need to be responsible. We need to buy fewer clothing and we need to stop throwing our clothes away. We need to check the labels and we should definitely be sticking to our own style. But most importantly, buy clothes that you love and will wear for years and years to come.